Oh boy, this isn't very spaghetti. Yikes. Lesbian relationships only exist because men find it a turn-on claim study. The report suggests gay women are trying to cater to men's sexual desires. Yes, that must be it. That must be how and why lesbians exist. They've cracked the code. As a straight male, I go to every lesbian I see and I give them a medal. And I shake their hand and I thank them for their service. <laughs> what is this article? What are the comments? Women is only attracted to other women. Straight men. Is this for me? <laughs> yeah, that's it. It'd be like that sometimes. Fellas, is it gay now to care about your hair? <laughs> what? Men should get to choose hairstyles three times at 20, 32, and 46. If you do at any other point, you're gay. <laughs> you're gay. Bruh, I love my hair. I take good care of my hair. Imagine some intolerant, skid mark, bootleg looking Shrek coming up to the King Simp Ben and telling me I'm gay for looking after my hair. Get in the bin, you look like a foot. Everyone has probably heard of that vegan teacher by now, shaking my head. TikTok star coming out as vegan is much more special than coming out as LGBTQ. Now, I don't want to, you know, this is probably going to be the most serious thing I'll say in the entire video because I like my channel to be jokes. But I always feel quite strongly about this type of thing. As although I'm not gay myself, I cannot imagine the fear some people must have when it comes to coming out. But I can understand understand that it must be absolutely terrifying for some people so hats off to you for choosing happiness over fear but <laughs> back to the main point imagine comparing something which isn't even comparable like a no meat diet to coming out as lgbtq that that's insane shut up <laughs> Hello Gamer Virgins, it's King Simp Ben. Today we are looking at r slash are the straights okay? Because let's be real, straight people do be doing some weird stuff sometimes. I, I don't want anyone looking at this video to validate any dislike towards straight people. I'm straight myself and this video is just for jokes. I love my LGBTQ audience and I don't want to part out a message which causes any divide or just unnecessary aggro. I want everyone just to get along. But at the same time, straight people do be doing some weird stuff sometimes so with all this being said let's enjoy this video also i just wanted to show my appreciation for some of the fan art you lovely people send me i get so many but some of them really are just like god damn this one comes from rottinge motorcon if i pronounced your name correctly there but i mean hell yeah look at this with my little crown king of the simps i love it thank you wtf this doesn't normally happen at us straight wedding does it have you guys never seen it when the groom, like, climbs up the woman's vagina? <laughs> what, what, am I, <laughs> what, what am I even saying? I have no idea what's going on here. I was gonna go along saying that, like, they climb up inside the woman and take control of her, but... Yeah, <laughs> the joke didn't really come out too well, but... Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. I've never actually seen this happen before, but... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Bro... <laughs> What is this? Fam, is it gay to live? I drink water even though I'm a man. Since when was it gay to drink water? Can you imagine if I was on an island? Like, stranded, of course. I wasn't just on an island. Like, stranded on an island. And someone said to me, Whoa, you must be hella gay to drink some water and try and survive this. I mean, <laughs> bro, I'm not dying because of your intolerance. Get in the bin. We die in car crashes like real men. <laughs> the moderators actually remove this. Fellas, is it gay to survive a car crash? No airbags, we die like real men. Yeah, imagine if I went up to a car dealership and said, Hey, do you mind taking out the seatbelts because I'm a man? And yeah, no road's gonna kill me. <laughs> like... What even is this? A gay friend shared this on Facebook. Straight men 300 years ago. Makeup, wig, robes, high heels. Straight men today. New research suggests that some men avoid green behavior like using a reusable shopping bag at the grocery store because they don't want to be perceived as gay. Who, who is holding a recyclable bag and thinking, this is the gayest thing I've ever done. Like, imagine, imagine caring about the planet, bro. Oh, <laughs> it's so stupid. 
People can be mean. When I was 16, I cut my hair pretty short and wore baggy clothes a lot. My boyfriend at the time and I were at a gas station being the young couple we were, kissed and stuff like that. Some middle-aged man saw us, assumed we were a gay couple and shouted things like he was going to kill us and how we're going to hell. The clerk had to threaten to call the police for him to leave. <laughs> Bruh, that guy's probably gonna die soon. Ignore him. I'll never forget being pelted with a Bible as a kid at Pride. All I was doing was celebrating my sexuality and they chuckled at, they chucked a bi chuckled a Bible at me. Chucked a Bible at my head and told me that I was gonna burn. Love that, bro. These old people, they're gonna die soon. <laughs> like ignore these fools. What kind of man has a lunchbox? Bro, this man has had a lunchbox before, but like who is tweeting out this type of rubbish? What kind of man has a lunchbox? Since when when did lunchboxes become such a thing to identify someone's sexuality? That's the stupidest thing I've heard in a while. Is it gay to eat pasta? Just walked out on my date, he ordered pasta. The frick, if you're gay, why are you dating a woman? No straight man would eat pasta. All right, I'm gonna be real here. I don't like pasta. I don't like spaghetti. <laughs> and I certainly do not like my viewers tweeting at me they eat tables. But goddamn, like, since when did your food choice become a way of implying that someone might be into the same gender? Like, what? What are you talking about? Here's a question, right? Why is it people who question something like a dish like pasta would be a way of identifying your sexuality, but are the same people who would eat a hot dog whole and be like, well, it was part of a contest. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut off. What have we got here? Sometimes I wonder how people don't have any brain cells. Yo, can I ask you something? Yes. Are you freaking dumb? Freaking female? You're the object, Lamau. Now get back in the kitchen. Make me a sandwich. You say I'm dumb, but you can't even make a sandwich. <laughs> any other weak insults, you female? Bro, imagine, imagine being this much of a loser and messaging people like that. Jesus Christ. Are men okay? These are your birthing years. Why are you playing Animal Crossing? Take that ring out of your nose and find yourself a man to explode inside you. I like how he really emphasizes deep and have an in real life baby crossing. Hope this helped. Thank you, Mushroom Stamp. That, that helped absolutely nobody. What are you talking about? Find yourself a man to explode inside of you. You really have... A good choice of words there, buddy. Ever tried not watching people kiss? Nobody wants to see homos kissing in public. Should be banned. I mean, I don't want to see anybody really kissing in public. And at the same time, why would I be watching two people kiss? Like, it's not really, it's not really something which is on my to-do list or a hobby of mine. That's going to be it for today's video, Game of Virgins. I hope you enjoyed looking at some people who are just straight up weird and seem to have more of an issue with themselves than with anybody they're actually having an issue with. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this style of content and follow me on my socials. I love talking to you guys. I hope you, Game of Virgins, have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.